हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यू जी सी नेट ऑनलाइन प्री कोचिंग ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस्ड जून 2007 थाउजेंड सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी इन फोर लेक्चर सीरीज टुडे आई डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन टू फिफ्टी इन जून टू थाउजेंड सेवन ओके लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन इन ए गुड सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन डैश कपलिंग इज डिजायरेबल बिटवीन अ मॉडल्स एक्चुअली ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस इन टू क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस वन कपलिंग एंड कोहिजन कपलिंग इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री इन जून टू थाउजेंड सिक्स इन दैट आई हैव डिस्कस इन डिटेल इन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एक्चुअली लोवेस्ट कपलिंग मीन्स लो कपलिंग हाई कोहिजन रिक्वायर टू डेवलप ए गुड सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन you keep this one mind it is very important question repeatedly asked this question low coupling high cohesion it is used if you are used that software is considered as a good software design so uh, for this 14 uh, question number 41 uh, in a in a good software design lowest coupling is desirable between the models okay there are these many types of coupling this is uh, loosely cl- coupled it is tightly coupled i have explained in detail what is the coupling and cohesion in detail and also uh, uh, and also i explained in question number 43 june 2006 now i hope there is no doubt in this question it's very important please remember low coupling high cohesion require uh, if it is considered then the software is good software design okay now we'll go for question number 42 difference between flow chart and data flow diagrams okay there is no difference you says in high level design and low level design control flow and data flow used in application programs and system programs okay uh, actually flow chart and data flow diagrams both are used to represent um describe or represent in the form of flow okay both uh, in flow chart and as well as data flow diagrams but uh, to re- in what sense you are representing that is uh, there is slight difference both the data flow and flow charts are re- used in describing our step by step the path of the process or data both diagrams are used to make it easier to understand the way a process is taking place or data is being processed okay but what is flow chart exactly flow chart are re- used to break down a complex process into simple steps means you know what is flow chart and what is data flow but major difference is here flow chart is represent flow of control data flow diagram represent data flow in the system that is uh, both major difference but majorly uh, both are used to describe the uh, both are used to description means describe the process or um, flow flow data okay so option is c is right answer question number 42 now we'll go for match the following uh, this uh, and they uh, they have given some test and uh, in which test they have used in a particular module unit test and system test validation test integration test uh, requirements design code system test in this if you know one answer correctly you can answer easily um, but uh, you know i hope you know better you should know the all the uh, individual uh, for this question um, for unit test used for uh, means step by step means uh, um, lexical analysis way so code time it is used for unit test and system test used for system engineering and validation test requirements and integration test actually used for design time this is i hope you know it's very simple if you know one answer you can answer but if you know all it's very good uh, but you keep in mind it may may be asked seen a different way uh, same type different question so be careful now we'll go for question number 
द प्रॉब्लम्स विथ वाटर वाटरफॉल मॉडल आर रियल प्रोजेक्ट्स रेयरली फॉलो दिस मॉडल प्रोसेस इट इज आफ्टन डिफिकल्ट फॉर द कस्टमर वर्किंग मॉडल इज अवेलेबल ओनली इन द एंड डेवलपर्स आर डिलेड अननेसेसरली हुच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू स्टेटमेंट्स ओके देर आर गिवन फोर स्टेटमेंट्स चेक इट हुच स्टेटमेंट इज राइट एंड ऑप्शंस आर वन एंड फोर स्टेटमेंट्स आर राइट टू एंड थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स आर राइट वन टू थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स आर राइट एंड वन टू थ्री फोर स्टेट ऑल फोर स्टेटमेंट्स आर राइट नाउ विल गो फॉर वन बाय वन रियल प्रोजेक्ट्स रियरली फॉलो दिस मॉडल प्रोसेस यस वाई बिकॉज देर इज नो इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल लीनियर मॉडल मीन्स सीक्वेंशियल डेवलपमेंट मॉडल इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर रियल प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज देर इज नो एनी हाउ वी नीड सम बैकवर्ड स्टेप्स फॉर डेवलपिंग अ सॉफ्टवेयर बट इट इज नॉट देर इन वाटरफॉल मॉडल दैट इज वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम एंड इट इज ऑप्टन डिफिकल्ट फॉर द कस्टमर यस बिकॉज इट इज इट्स एज पर कस्टमर रिक्वायरमेंट इट्स एज पर अंडरस्टैंडिंग पर्पज इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज इट इज लीनियरली इट इज एडजस्टेड एंड सिंपल मॉडल दैट इज वन ऑफ द ड्रॉबैक वर्किंग मॉडल is available only in the end yes it is also developers are delayed unnecessarily because all uh, all models are independent maybe uh, it is happens so uh, according to me uh, option all are true statements so option d is right answer now we'll go for 45 which of the following is an object oriented approaches the booch method the rambhang method lond and amdon method all of the above actually uh, for this if you know you can answer easily but anyhow we'll go for uh, in detail in the early days of object oriented technology before mid 1990s there were many different computing methodologies for software development means before that there are so many ways and object oriented modeling often tried to specific computer aided software engineering means k k tool vendors no standard notations consist terms and process gui- guides were the major concern at the time uh, which degrade communication efficiency and uh, lengthen learning curves uh, that's why it is developed for object oriented model uh, these are the some important models in uh, Uh, in that days um, this uh, this uh, grady booch model and rambing model jacobson and all are these are very famous models for object oriented approaches so obviously all three are object oriented models so option is d is right answer okay now we'll go for question number 46 which technical concept set cellular apart from all preceding mobile or radio systems frequency modulation transmission or duplex functionalities frequency reuse and uh, time division multiple access technology in this which technology concept sets cellular apart from all preceding mobile or radio systems definitely it is differentiate in frequency reuse plan because every cell has different frequencies every cell uses different frequencies frequencies so option c is right answer but here uh, explained in detail frequency reuse or frequency planning technique for of reusing frequencies and channels within a communication system to improve the capacity and spectral efficiency uh, frequency reuse is one of the fundamental concept on which commercial wireless system are based that involve the partitioning of the reuse plan radiating area into cells so that's why the uh, cells are uh, honeycomb like cells they are using in a, 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 in um, mobile communication system uh, these cells use different frequencies uh, for adjacent cells using different sec- frequencies and same frequency ranges used in some other cells uh, which is not adjacent to this one uh, that is frequency reuse plan okay uh, for this more uh, go through in this 
for the 46th question C is the right answer wireless interconnection to the PSTN are also known as localities CL ECs POPs and IXCs for this uh, uh, actually wireless interconnection to the public switch to telephone network are also known as uh, this is option D is right uh, I think uh, pop means point to point um, this is C also will get uh, some confusion but uh, I think D is the right answer IX is originally carried voice tropic on analog lines but voice tropic has since become largely digitized therefore voice tropic is more typically a data stream and can be intermixed with the data tropics such as an uplink for a DSL digitized uh, described line digital uh, sorry line most commonly links between IXCs and CUs are ATM links carried out on optical fiber so uh, for this con uh, for this sentence conclusion is uh, wireless interconnection to the uh, public switch telephone network are also known as IXCs because it is used for basically for voice tropic on analog lines so option D is right answer now we will go for question number 48 uh, dimensional modeling in data mining refers to view and interrogate data define structures and store data retrieve and information only none of the above dimensional modeling in data mine data mining refers to definitely it is define and structure or store data okay anyhow i will explain in detail dimensional modeling is the process where input data is processed to form information packages which is necessary data structure are created to store the data physically so option b is right answer dimensional modeling in data mining refers to de define structures and store data this is the option b is right answer now we'll go for question number 49 the unii means what unlicensed national information infrastructure band operates at the dash frequencies okay uh, this is if you know u n i i then you can answer but i have explained in detail uh, this is uh, in in short form u n i i uh, unlicensed national information infra infra infrastructure designate to provide short range and high speed wireless networking communication at low cost this is the mo main objective to give short range high speed wireless network communication at low cost that is the main objective of unii this consists of three frequency bands of 100 megahertz each means what every every line has 100 megahertz of three lines uh, each in in the 5 gigahertz band this is the range of uh, uh, three bands the three frequency bands were set aside by the FCC and in 1997 initially to help schools connect to the internet without the need of hard wiring means wireless actually this is main objective of UNII this is uh, used by 5 gigahertz of frequency so option C is right answer I hope uh, now uh, at least uh, like these questions may ask for a different way please be uh, aware of how, how they are asking what kind of questions rising uh, so be careful now we'll go for question number 50 which digital radio technology employs on an n equal to 1 frequency reuse plan n is equal to 1 means what in all cells has a same frequencies initially question number i think 48 or 47 i discussed frequency reuse plan uh, definitely you know, in that i have discussed uh, tdm and uh, uh, fdma but in which technology it is not used frequency reuse plan this question 
for this i have explained in detail frequency reuse is the ability to use the same radio channel frequency at the other cell sites within a cellular system in the frequency division multiple access and time division multiple access systems frequency planning is an important consideration in these two they are used similar uh, uh, frequency reuse plans means adjacent cells should not have a same frequency ranges that's why uh, tdm and fdm used frequency reuse plan but the frequency used in the different cells must be planned carefully to ensure signals from the different cell do not interfere Uh, interfere with each other that is the main objective in a cdma means code division multiple access system the same frequency can be used in every cell because channelization is done using the pseudo random codes reusing the same frequency in every cell eliminates the need of the frequency planning planning in a code division multiple access system however planning of the different pseudo random sequences must be done to ensure that the received signal from one cell does not correlate with the signal from the nearby cell that is main objective that's why final what is the question number 50 says tdm and fdm used for frequency reuse plan means n equal to take some value but a n equal to 1 it is used by cdma code division multiple access so option d is right right answer i hope uh, you enjoyed this lecture series please inform your friends share and subscribe the channel uh, thanks to all my viewers